I'm just, uh, you know, out of words. I'm just very grateful to God. Um, no, it's been a long journey. I've gone through a lot, but finally, God has really, you know, um, done it for me, and I'm very grateful to God and everybody that has been very supportive, especially uh, Aduchi and also the lawyer from Ivory Coast, my uh, chairman, the regional chairman, everybody. I mean, they've been very supportive. Of course, my family, my daughter was here today. So I'm very, very grateful to God. God has been good to me. It has not been easy, but God is good. Yes, I, I, I need to thank God Almighty and the courts for the rather, I mean, you know, brilliant judgment. The scholarship demonstrated in the judgment is pleasing. We are extremely grateful to the courts. We are extremely grateful to the Almighty God. I'm grateful to my colleague lawyers, the regional executives of our party, the national executives, and more importantly, let me say, H. E. John Dramani Mahama, he had been on this matter right from the beginning. The expenses and everything. I mean, I'm extremely grateful. The national chairman of the party is not left out. The general secretary, all of them have been part of making what has happened today great. And I appreciate what has happened today. I'm extremely grateful. The judgment speaks of itself. The judgment speaks of itself. We put in a lot of industry. We didn't want to leave any loophole anywhere. I mean, culminating in traveling right to Ivory Coast together with my client, the MP. And we are extremely grateful to God. And I thank you, the media men. In the course of this trial, some of your headlines were really discomforting, but I'm extremely grateful. Thank you. I mean, immigrant families, a lot of things happen. Persons who travel, a lot of things happen. But those were not the issues, as Riley. In fact, the justice, they were irrelevant. Red herring. That is what they were. I mean, basically, I mean, we lawyers, we know some of these things. But that's fine. We are extremely grateful to the court. That's it. I mean, like I told you, I had much earlier had gone to my learned senior to plead that should the case go in his favor, he shouldn't take us against me. So it was only moral that I could not ask for cause against them. Thank you. A strange laws. A strange laws. We are guided by the dictate that justice emanates from the courts. And the courts are not manned by saints or spirits. They are manned by human beings. We come to court and present our case. There are two parties in the case. There's an umpire who is the judge. So if the judge determines one way or the other what he or she has as an, as an interpretation of the law based on the, upon the evidence that used as trained lawyers, it is our forte to take it in our stride. The incidence of you wanting to appeal the decision is another matter. But for now, yes, we have come to court after an exhaustive trial. The judge has determined the issues. He's read his judgment and will take the judgment as it is for now. What do you make of some pronouncements by the presiding judge considering the fact that one can also talk about the fact that he could have also relied on an expert witness. Again, it could also have raised issues of court. But these apparently probably when in your these are these are his findings these are his findings uh, the strategy of a lawyer a trained lawyer to conduct a case is the lawyer's own strategy the judge of course like i said as an umpire also has his inkling about how the case should go on the issue of us calling expert witness i will not want to comment on that but on the issue of fraud if you listen to the judgment carefully, you realize that the judge himself, after having said that we didn't plead fraud, the law enjoins him that if in the course of the trial, fraud is not even pleaded by one party, and he invents fraud, it is his duty as a judge to comment on it. But what did he say? He said the fraud had to do with his Ghanaian citizenship or his Ghanaian nationality. He had nothing to do with Avoria. But the issue at stake was whether she held a citizenship other than Ghanaian, which was the Ivorian. So what our focus was, was the Ivorian law as to loss of citizenship or renunciation of citizenship. In any event, in any event, a criminal offense is a criminal offense. 